we're going to solve the system of equations and write the solution as an ordered pair. So we have a system of two equations with two unknowns, and we'll first solve this algebraically using the substitution method or elimination method, and we'll also check our solution graphically. So looking at these two equations, notice how we can solve this first equation for y by subtracting 5x on both sides. So because we have one equation that we can easily solve for one variable, let's solve this system using substitution. So again, our first equation is 5x plus y equals negative 11, and our second equation is 6x plus 5y equals 2. So the first step, we'll solve this first equation for y by subtracting 5x on both sides. So simplifying, we have y equals negative 11 minus 5x. So now that we've solved this first equation for y, we'll now perform substitution for y in the second equation, which will give us one equation with one variable, which we can then solve for x. So again, because y must equal negative 11 minus 5x, we'll substitute negative 11 minus 5x for y in the second equation. So we would have 6x plus 5 times the quantity in negative 11 minus 5x must equal 2. Again, notice how we have a single equation with one variable, and now we can solve this for x. Once we determine the value of x, we'll perform back substitution to determine the value of y. So here we'll clear the parentheses by distributing positive 5. So we have 6x, and then 5 times negative 11 is negative 55, so minus 55. And then 5 times negative 5x is negative 25x, so minus 25x equals 2. Let's combine the x terms on the left side. 6x minus 25x is going to be negative 19x. So we have negative 19x minus 55 equals 2. And now we'll add 55 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have negative 19x equals 57. And now we divide both sides by negative 19. And simplifying, we have x equals negative 3. Now that we know x equals negative 3, remember our solution is an ordered pair, which I will perform back substitution to determine the value of y. And we'll go ahead and use this equation here that's already solved for y. Again, if we know y equals negative 11 minus 5x, then we know y must equal negative 11 minus 5 times the value of x, which we now know is negative 3. So we have y equals negative 11 plus 15, which equals positive 4. So we have y equals positive 4, and therefore the solution to our system of equations would be the ordered pair x comma y, or in this case, negative 3 comma 4 which again means this ordered pair would satisfy both of the equations in our system. And let's take the time to check this algebraically as well as graphically. So we'll substitute negative 3 for x and 4 for y into both equations just to verify it would satisfy both equations. So for the first equation, we would have 5 times negative 3 plus 4 equals negative 11. Negative 15 plus 4 equals negative 11. And negative 15 plus 4 is negative 11. So the ordered pair does satisfy our first equation. And now for the second equation, we would have 6 times negative 3 plus 5 times 4 equals 2. Simplifying, we have negative 18 plus 20 equals 2, which does give us 2 equals 2, which is true. And therefore, we've just verified the ordered pair does satisfy both linear equations. Now to check this graphically, we could graph both linear equations, and because this ordered pair is the solution to the system, it would be the point of intersection with the point that is on both lines. And to save some time, I've already graphed this. Here's the graph of the two linear equations, and notice how the point of intersection is this point here, where the coordinates are negative 3, comma, positive 4, again, the solution to our system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.